I got a new outfit. Got me a Prola 7 inch bull whip. Just juiced it all up nicely with some Procure scent. First cast for the morning, and I whack it out. So, as usual, the forecast is way off. <laughs> Probably 10 knots stronger than what they forecast, but anyway, we're out here. Giving it a crack. Hopefully, um, as the sun comes up, the wind drops out and it gets a bit less grumpy. But plan as usual, we're going to barely up here, see if we can't get ourselves onto some decent fish, and then um, we're going to head in a bit closer and um, hit some shallower reefs in closer with some plastics when the sun comes up a bit. You. Lee's got on a gulp. I don't know it's, it's very similar to the Berkeley Nemesis, but in the old nuclear chook. And he's got a new outfit too. But again, we'll show you that once the sun comes up. No, he's off. Oh. Oh. Spent a couple of hours out a bit further this morning and just got beaten up. This easterly is ridiculous. The forecast was meant to be six knots and it's more like 15 to 18. So we've moved in a bit closer, I was trying to hide from you easterly, but it's not really working. We've moved into a bit of a reef complex, you can see over there. Um, we're just anchored up next to it in four metres of water. And we're just getting a bit of barely going. I hope we can stir up a few um, kingfish to come into the barely trail. Boys at Southside Boating a Tackle have lent me the Diver Soul with a TD Zero um, rod. So I'm just having a few casts of this. I've got a soft plastic out the back. Oh, I just got a hit straight up. Oh, they're just for us, I think. So the plan is just barely up, get a bit of a food chain going, and hopefully the kingy show up. And hopefully that wave doesn't get it. Yep. Now we're on. Fish on. Well, there you go. We've only been here less than... Yeah, this is a decent fish. We've only been here less than 10 minutes. And my 7-inch Abrolis bull whip has just got smacked on the way back in. Lee missed the take because he's too busy eating biscuits then. <laughs> Oh, this out, this is a beautiful outfit, eh? Oh, don't go over there, don't go over there. Oh, he's going over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give it some more. This is, chances. King, this is a kingfish for sure. Yeah, he's a king. I'm just locking up a bit more on him. Give him some curry. This has got 30 pound, 30 pound braid on it. This TD, zero rod. Just perfect for casting soft plastics. And this Daiwa Soul is like probably one of the nicest reels I've ever used to be honest. Oh, there he is. There he is down there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, they put in for small fish, don't they? These things are full of bloody. Oh, pull a snapper backwards, eh? Can you get the net link? Yeah. The net? That was hard, man. Yeah. Oh, got him finally. Woo. The wind was blowing the net inside out, yeah. and I didn't want to go in. Phew! <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's only a little guy, but geez, he put in for his size. It just shows you how hard these guys go. Um, how's the sun? I got a feeling. If I hook a bigger one, I'm going to be in trouble here. Yeah. Anyway, I'll get this plastic out. He can go back. And he'll go back easy. Nice. You're on. Yeah. Yeah, Lee's in now. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, beautiful. How much fun at Kingies? Oh, he's only... Look how hard they go for small fish, man. They pull. You can probably just lift yeah. him in, eh? No! <laughs> How many? Well, it's quite hard. Yeah. <laughs> yes, free spawn? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a tiny one. Ah, <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, he's only a little guy, but 
these are aggressive, these things, eh? Little rat. They go hard, eh? Ooh. Little rat kings. Phew, how stoked. Beauty. Come here. Alright, so check this out. We've got the Jiggy Master combo here on a Jignesis Predator rod. Uh, this has got a hundred pound line on it. I've been getting smoked by some big Sambos and some big Kings. So the boys at Southside Boating and Tackle said, take this. If you can't stop them on that, you're just not going to be stopping them. So I've got a hundred pound out, out here. I've got a whole skippy out the back under a balloon. So let's see if we can't hook a real big boy and either I'm going to water ski or we're going to skull drag, skull drag it back into the boat. So I don't know, hopefully one of them has a crack. Well, it's gone really quiet here. We've been here for like another hour after those first two kings. They came in the first 10 minutes and we've been here for about another hour and just nothing's happened. I've still got the big boy out the back here. Got a live skippy just swimming around under a balloon out the back. Well, he's swimming laps around the boat, making a real ass of himself, to be honest. Look at the surf out here, surf's pumping. Definitely get some waves out there. Anyway, while I'm here, I thought I'll show you this. This bait caster I've got here, the Daiwa Tatula. Um, I was really excited to use this bait caster. The boys at Southside gave it to me and said, go and use that and throw some plastics around. So I was throwing plastics around. Oh, it's on a Daiwa Saltus Commander rod. Um, I don't know, it's kind of a jigging outfit, I guess, or a barra. I don't know, but I was excited to cast plastics around with it this morning. So I was flicking plastics around out on the reef earlier. And um, I don't know, I got a few overruns. I'm a bit rusty on a bait cast. I haven't used it for a while. Then I got in here for the Kings and my first cast. Obviously, there was a bit of an overrun with a bit of a line snap down the bottom and the lure just snapped off straight away first cast. So, yeah, I don't know. That's not real failure. That's probably my casting skills. So I re-rigged it again. And sure enough, I did it a second time as well. Another big overrun. Flicked the lure off. So, obviously, I've just got to play around with this casting control and sort of get used to it. Like I say, I haven't used the bait caster for a long time. Um, it's a bit of a fine balance setting these casting controls so the lure you know you can still get a decent cast and also so you don't get overruns it's just a matter of playing around with it and getting used to it so lee's just got the drone up at the moment just doing a bit of a fly around we'll probably stay for a little bit longer hopefully the wind drops out but it's not looking like it's going to anytime soon but we'll see what happens love fishing in these places it's just so visual everything you everything you do you can see you can watch your plastics working through the water you can see the fish chasing them down it's just beautiful and clear um, how good is West Australia really we're spoiled to have such an awesome coastline that we've got here that's it for us anyway we're gonna burn in and uh, go and get some breakfast hopefully next time we'll come out um, I'm gonna play around with this Tatula a bit more maybe practice casting I was going all right with it for a couple of hours this morning had no worries it was just when I came here and started flicking for the kingies, I think I was just trying to cast it a bit too hard and um, using my little 1.6 jig heads, it's just a bit too light for that thing. Um, again, I don't think it's to do with a combination, I think it's to do with my casting more than anything. But I'll play around with it, hopefully next time we can smack a decent fish on it. So, see you on the next episode. Yew!